Welcome back to Cheche, the program where opinion counts live on Citizen TV. Now, we're all familiar with the name of our guest today, Ahmed Nasir Abdullahi. We've been hearing that name in connection uh, with the judiciary's battle against its former chief registrar, Gladys Cholet. Uh, and we've been talking about uh, the GS JSC's uh, position um, on her sacking, on her dismissal, because, of course, you're a commissioner uh, with the JSC. Um, now, what would you say about the fact that this entire battle has been played out in the public, um, and though you say that it doesn't uh, damage the judiciary, um, you've taken a beating. Disciplinary, uh, disciplinary uh, matters have been brought out into the open. We've seen rifts within the JSC. We've heard about um, uh, what to the ordinary Kenyan would sound like exorbitant allowances being claimed. How do you... Um, regain your dignity? First, I mean, we have never lost the dignity in the first place. But you see, the JEC is a not an old communist party that budgets its members, you know, during midnight in the darkness. I mean, the JEC is an accountable <coughs> institution that's accountable to the Kenyan public. And we are glad that we have conducted the disciplinary issue of Gladys in full glare of the press. I mean, of course, it was not open to the press. But at every point in time, we were explaining to the Kenyan public that this is where the position is, this is what she is facing, these are her answers, this is our verdict. So mm -hmm. I think it's, it's to the credit, really, mm -hmm. of the JSC. Okay. But Shulay demanded a public hearing, and you declined. Right. How but is that in the public? Uh, no, no, that was light. sideshow. You know, you know, there's a no, no, no. It's public. <laughs> Why I mean, is it a sideshow when domain. she asks she said, for it, I but it isn't? I want the public to judge, yeah. because these guys are lynching me. That was a, 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 a simple request uh, yeah, no, no, that no, 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 no. needed to bear Let out. me clarify. Eh? You know, there are sideshows, and then there's the serious matter of the disciplinary. Okay. When you are disciplining you are or addressing the disciplinary issue facing an employee, it's not even in her interest as a person, really. Because sometimes the person may not know his interest. But it's not <laughs> in our you interest. You can't defend the person <laughs> against <laughs> their own wishes. Yes. Yes. That is not it, acceptable. It may not yeah. be in the interest of the employee to conduct that issue publicly. Mm -hmm. I mean, but some of the allegations are really grave. Okay, but they're very but grave but allegations, let's, let's, but yes. she, no, like I mean you, uh, just a minute, uh, she, yes. like you, um, uh, has an understanding of the law. So why is it a sideshow when she asks for public engagement, but it's a serious matter when you want to engage the public? No, no, but you see... It's a distortion of, 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 no, no, of, of no, no, uh, no, no, it is uh, public in interest. No, no, there is, there is a first, there's a process on disciplining employees. Right. We have followed that process as provided for in law. She said, I want to have the press. We told her, why do you need the press in a matter that concerns your discipline? Because you started no, it. You went to the press Manasseh. first. No, no, public. No, 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 the no. issues here are not private. These but are public. Uh, uh, this yeah. is financial mis uh, it, mismanagement. Eh? Public interest is huge because you already, it's already gone public. She but they went to the press first. Yeah, she's complaining no, no, no. that you're lynching No, no, no. no. Yeah. We, no we, we tell the press what's happening, but I don't think it is proper to broadcast live the disciplining and the subsequent dismissal of Cholet live on TV. I think that would be a cruel fine, treatment. No, fine, you, fine, fine, fine. Did you have it. a predetermined outcome? Have to do it in no, 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 we didn't. We don't have to do she it. She wanted public, it. But, uh, I think there Absolutely is a, not. There is a lot of PR being done. Eh? And, and I think uh, I, I, tr I trust you. But when you say that um, the judiciary has not got a beating, I doubt it a bit. Because we are talking of uh, what we have been going through the media. Uh, and we are not saying that to discredit the institution because we also, we also want it to grow. But there is an issue here, Commissioner, that is for sure disturbing Kenyans. And the issue is, if you have not got a beating, as you are putting it, why then are we having even workers at the judiciary wanting to go and protest outside Parliament when Parliament will be meeting you? Uh, that's one. Then there is also the issue of what uh, the, the CJ did releasing this uh, dossier on uh, uh, Cholet, when you have already sat her, why won't you then give that to the investigating bodies and no, let no, them no, come up I mean, with it? <laughs> we have given all these documents to the investigating bodies because those form the substratum of the complaint against her. So all these investigative bodies have won. Secondly, you have only been hearing one side of the story since we started the investigation. And I think the CJ made it very clear he said, we do not want to conduct this process in public glare. We will conduct it privately. 
but Gladys on her part, life interviews, life interviews. The li implication of that statement is that you are hiding something. Yes, I'll come. Because I'll the come. accused person <laughs> says, hang me in public. You who are accusing her, say, no, no, one is in private. Somebody is likely to conclude that there's dirty linen you're hiding because mm. you'll be exposed. No, 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 let's wait. Eh? So when the CJ now released all these documents on our official website, yes. it's for the Kenyan public now to <laughs> see the other side of the story they have not heard from day one. Mm -hmm. So we were just balancing the two. <laughs> Shole had been live on TV for the last two months. We have been quiet. But this is the issues that she was facing. Uh, so are you saying that the media has been favoring her? Of course, that one is obvious. Is it? Yes. In not, what I, sense? I mean, I'm not accusing you, uh, uh, yeah. a citizen, <laughs> although mm. citizen also has been fairly very vocal on this button. Mm. But, this is the, but this is the first time that a person facing a disciplinary issue was given, was put at a disposal, a TV station and a newspaper on a daily basis. And that is, you know, the bashing we have been facing from day one. Even on Saturday, I think uh, bef before Mushuja Day, I mean, she had a small press conference. It was live on TV. It was live on KTN. Okay. That is an editorial decision they can make. And we are not having a problem with that. But I think considering the relationship between her and her husband who runs the place, there is an ethical issue for okay. journalism. Okay, so let's be careful here because, um, first of all, you're calling editorial decisions into account. Um, we don't speak for any other uh, media station, but as you say, it's an editorial decision. This is a high-ranking, high-profile public officer who is fighting what she believes is her wrongful dismissal. Uh, dismissal. She's been on this show. You asked to come on this show, <coughs> excuse me, to put across the JSC side. Now, when you talk about emails being released, we remember emails detailing a 31-point war strategy and which seemed to show that uh, uh, she was too recognizable as the face of reform and judiciary. And so this, uh, the, the chief justice needed to reclaim his place in the public imagination as the author um, of these reforms. And you've just said it yourself here that she wasn't involved, it's the CJ, which points to some sort of disquiet within judiciary about her prominence and the profile she was gaining um, over these reforms. Okay, let's first start with the emails. Right. There are only two people who have access to these emails, only two. That is Gladys Shule and the Standard Newspaper. Only two. When we told her where or what are her source of these emails, she refused to disclose to us as JSC. Because she said she wants to, to introduce the email. You're saying that she released the Warpoint strategy emails? Yes. I'm not, mm -hmm. I'm not saying she released, mm -hmm. but there are only two, p two parties who, access, who have access. Gladys Shule herself mm -hmm. and the Standard Newspapers. Mm -hmm. But you know, I mean, the outrage. How do you know that she has access to the emails? No, no, she, she, she said she has copies when we, for the disciplinary case, when, we, when she appeared before us, she said she had copies. But really, this is the outrage, eh, which we have not expressed or any other media house, that the private email of the Chief Justice of the Republic of Kenya can be criminally accessed, doctored. You know, some of them are doctored. Eh? When is they have accessed the documents, for example, they say, Ahmed is the the chi chief justice, they say the chief justice, and there's an example about me, for example, saying that Ahmed is the biggest obstacle to reforms. Is he? Yes. Okay. There's one that says, for example, that the president cannot run the government, that, uh, that uh, the speaker is, you know, it attacks almost everybody, creates an impression that the chief justice is at war with everybody, so that you know the pool <laughs> of the forces that are fighting the chief justice multiply. Mm -hmm. But this is the point, eh? that the private emails of the chief justice were accessed, they were doctored, and imagine there is no criminal investigation that starts or continues after now. Mm -hmm. That is the outrage people should express. Okay, well, tell Ima me what, about what, this. What other, what, other, what, other, what other things about the Chief Justice has been leaked to either Shole and the Standard newspapers right. that we are not aware of? Actually, this is from the Star newspaper, an email um, which in which you purportedly accuse the Chief Justice of wasting public money. Is you that see, true? You see, it's, you see, that's another tragedy. No, no, is that true, though? It's true, yes. but they doctored the sequence. Really? When, I mean, they, 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 uh, we were supposed to go for benchmarking to some countries. Right. The Chief Justice was the first one to state his objection, and he said, no, no, guys, we don't need to go to Canada and America. When he, when, he, when he fired that email, I fired in response and said that we don't have to go to this, we can go to Bosnia and this. Now they are making it look like I'm exercising some veto power mm. over those. And this is so you didn't say this. Let's just read the quote. Also, fundamentally, I've not approved these, uh, approved these two visits. Don't ask me whether I have residual powers as the chair 
or the Finance Committee to, con to cancel wasteful trips? I have. Arusha and Bosnia are the only trips on the cards. According to my books, you spend public money like you will spend private money. Thus, America and Canada are out. We have done enough benchmarking after all. Benchmarking is not an endless trip to visit as many countries as we wish. Yes, yes. Those, are, th those th are my words. Those are your words. Yes, yes. Okay, but you say that... What is uh, the context of those words? No, the context of this word is that uh, I think the World Bank has given money to JSC for capacity building in terms of seeing how other courts work. So there is various programs we have. So when the JEC Secretariat met our calendar yeah, they said, let us visit the Canadian Supreme Court and the American Supreme Court. So the CJ said, no, we are not going to Canada and America. America. We can go to Bosnia, Bosnia, see how the criminal court Bosnia works and some other countries, and Cambodia, and I think we went. So it was, I was the second person in support of the CJ's proposal. The third person, I think, was the Attorney General. But now the star has put a spin. They say, oh, to show that where the power lies, you can see that Ahmed is the one who is objecting. I mean, it's a travesty. But don't you have uh, extreme, okay, ex <laughs> influence on the judiciary? It's alleged that you're the, the grand mullah. Mm. <laughs> can you explain that uh, reference to yourself, which you have accepted graciously? No, no. <laughs> the, I mean, it's not my that. Nobody call, Sometimes... Even the CJ say, calls him a grand mullah. Actually, you know, that we have nicknames sometimes, but these are, <laughs> you know, in an institution, people always call you are, You are farm names, assertive right? and... Uh, you of course I'm farm, of course I'm You have been accused of I being... I make no apologies for that, and I've told you. And you have been accused of being arrogant? Uh, that one know. is different. That one is false. <laughs> <laughs> Well, his personality is no one's uh, <laughs> <laughs> business. But, but you uh, see, you see. let me tell you yeah. that I have a strong views on judicial reforms. I make no apologies. I'm proud of it. I, I wear it as a badge of honor. And I've said this many times, you know. But you know, this issue like, oh, that Ahmed is the one who controls here. Every time there's a mm -hmm. problem. I mean, Could there be a hand uh, of politics in this one? Uh, I, I mean, no, no, do I you think so? I think to be fair to government, or to be fair to everybody else. I don't think government is involved in this. Mm -hmm. Everybody respects the independence of Even the Even when the Jubilee MPs are quoted in today's papers as saying that they will they will uh, disband the JSC. But that's not government, that's parliament. You okay. Know. But okay. I mean, the parliament, uh, they have all kinds of views in parliament, mm -hmm. and parliament is another animal. There's a theory, Ahmed Nasser, that uh, the tribulations of Chalet result from a scheme to cut her down or to remove any obstacles or threat or threat to a planned succession of the CJ and people are saying look Nancy was kicked out on a small thing you know Shole is being kicked out now you are targeting uh, Justice Jokindung because there's somebody else in the Supreme Court who is being railroaded to take over from the CJ in two years I'm glad you said it's a theory because that's what basically it is, eh? <laughs> 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 but the, you yeah. see, le let's not be fatal in our imagination, eh? People talk about succession. The Chief Justice term will expire when the first term of Uhuru as a president expire. Is there anybody mm -hmm. talking about succession of Uhuru? No, because it's too far. It's 2017. The Chief Justice will retire in 2017. So the issue of succession, really, I don't know how it comes in. But let me tell you. I am not aware, and I don't think there's any idea like that of trying to remove this, trying to remove mm -hmm. this, so that someone becomes chief okay. justice. Let's I mean, that's a little bit perfect. Right, let's, let's hear um, from our viewers. Uh, morning, Kenyans. To the JSC commissioner in the studio, one, is it true that there were huge allowances given, yourselves, given to yourselves and you fear these being revealed to the public? Uh, two, why, don't, why doesn't the JSC want to involve the public? And three, why was Chalet's job stopped before final conclusion on her investigation very quickly because i think you've touched on that yes, earlier. let me start with allowance eh? mm -hmm. and the pl i want kenyans to listen to this carefully we have 10 constitutional commissions under the constitution 10 constitutional commission jac is the only commission that commissioners do not earn salaries do not ask earn house allowance do not drive official cars it is true we get allowances mm -hmm. the allowances in law cannot be determined by JSC because that will be a conflict of interest. Mm -hmm. Yes. It is the Public Service Commission that determines under law. So when we came to office, the Public Service Commission, we made presentations to them and they said, no, no, no. The best we can offer you 
is a taxable allowance of 80,000 shillings per sitting allowance. So when you tax off, every sitting the JAC member sit is 56,000. So compare this to the Police Service Commission or compare this to the Teacher Service Commission or the Constitutional Implementation Commission. A commissioner in those other commissions earns 750,000 a month. He has a Brad or a Land Rover discovery. He has a police guard. I have, uh, uh, Laventon Security provides my security at all. I'm a commissioner. <laughs> the only <laughs> money we take <laughs> is a sitting allowance of 56,000. Mm -hmm. So Kenyans should do their numbers. Which is the cheapest commission in this country? The judicial yeah. service.